This book is a brief history of financial crises. It emphasizes in particular the rapid growth in loans, which we refer to as private debt, that preceded them. It concludes that almost all financial crises follow a simple, if ultimately agonizing, equation. Widespread overlending leads to widespread overcapacity that leads to widespread bad loans and bank and other lender failures. This is the essence of a financial crisis. In simplest terms, a bank fails when it makes too many bad loans. For example, when it makes far too many loans for buildings when there aren't enough tenants to fill them, so the buildings sit empty for years. You might think that this would be a rare blunder, but as you will see, it happens often and has been happening for centuries. When it occurs, most often there's a run on that bank's deposits and funding, or a regulator steps in and that bank is closed or is rescued by the government. A financial crisis happens when a lot of banks and other lenders in a given country fail or come so close to failure that they have to be rescued. To truly qualify as a financial crisis, these failures must be so widespread that they involve a significant number of lenders and affect a country's economic growth.